Well, howdy, 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 nearly seen us here. Yeah, Greetings, boys, boys, girls, boys, girls and all of our non-binary friends, and welcome to this, a brand new day, a brand new day. As I speak, it's Sunday? It's Sunday. <laughs> Thumbs up for that. Welcome, indeed. Hokey smokes, I was kind of lazy yesterday without being lazy yesterday. Well, how about that? It ties in with the weather report. So first, the Shelton, Washington weather report. It's going to be sunny, I think. It looks like I see sun... Well, I don't see the sun rays, but I see the sharper light on the vegetation outside. So thumbs up for that. A good thing. Sun. We need sun just as we need... Well, I mean, we always have sun. We need uh, uncloud-covered sunlight just as much as we need rain. Thumbs up for that. Now, yesterday, I went walkies early. I had to do some stuff. I had to drop off my rent payment and such like that. So it was like 11 o'clock. I went walkies and I made it a full walkies. I took this one loop up to the top of this one road to add a mile onto it, walked around downtown Shelton. Just, I walked pretty far. By the time I got back, it was like one o'clock in the afternoon. So it was about a, an hour and a half. So, not as good as they walk to Walmart and back, which is six miles, but that's six miles, and quite frequently it's just, I am done. I mean, I am done. I have to go to bed after I do that walk. I don't have to when I do the downtown walk. It's not as far, but it's still pretty good. So, thumbs up on that. But because I went during the daytime on that big walk all over the place, I got lazy toward the end of the evening. I was doing things game-wise, and I just didn't want to bother to go out. And because I had already gone full walkies, I didn't panic and freak out about it and just didn't go again. So I feel bad that I didn't go before I went to bed, but on the other hand, I'd already gone walkies. Now, the more you exercise, the better. So it would have been better if I had gone walkies. But you only need 150 minutes of moderate exercise per week at a bare minimum. And moderate exercise is just walking 100 steps per minute. Four kilometers slash three miles per hour. Moderate exercise. Now I do that like every two days I do almost double that so it's a good thing definitely a thumbs up on that yay <laughs> past that not a whole lot going on in my life I've not really done much I mean yesterday I woke up and I went walkies and I stayed in here I edited videos I played video games I didn't do much, so I wish I had a whole lot to talk about, but in my life, I really don't, because not a whole lot happening, and what little I've figured out mentally, I've talked about, I've just been thinking of on my own, so likely to be shorter today, just because I can't think of much, so I've got some things written down on my list, but there is not much lit written down on my list. Like, one of the things is, I've talked about how I have astigmatism. It makes me wonder as well, because occasionally, and the way things work, I wonder if there's like, I don't understand cataracts and, and what they go on with them. I don't know if it affects your vision all the time, or if this is just another astigmatism thing. Because as well as, because astigmatism is, you know, your eyes don't focus correctly, and there's it looks weird when you look at light but also there are some types of light and there are some angles that lights will hit my eye where it's like everything is foggy like the other day I had my eye facing this way I was looking in this direction and the Sun was coming in at just the right angle where it was like fog everything was this foggy and that's happened a few times. Like two years ago when I was going on the walk through this uh, in a Christmas lights thing in Shelton. 
a Christmas tree maze. It was like walking through, I had the normal astigmatism stuff, but everything was like walking through fog because everything glowed with a soft nimbus and it was just out in everything. Are those cataracts? Again, they don't happen all the time. It's specific types of light and usually specific angles. So, probably just more astigmatism. Yay. But, I mean, I am getting older. So, our bodies are frail to a certain degree. Not massively. I mean, you can drop us out of airplanes and off buildings and there's a chance we'll survive. Excuse me. We frequently survive things that would kill most animals out in the wild. Now, be fair. There are some animals that have had some stuff happen that I know would kill me. I mean, a broken leg can take out most animals in the wild. And shock will also take them out. But I have seen remains of animals after they've been killed when they've been hit with an arrow and that arrow got wedged into like their rib cages and then the bone grew around it and they survived. And I was like, hokey smokes. I, I don't think I could survive taking an arrow to my rib cage and then is seeking no hospitalization. So they can take some stuff that would wipe me out, but on the other hand, we take stuff that would kill them a lot. As stated before, and well, this as stated before thing, kind of sorry about that one, because it's as stated, but I mean, it's a, just a random bit of fact in that we are the kind of predator where we can just walk after a lot of our prey and we have endurance. We are endurance hunters. So we just keep walking after them. They will eventually just die from that being chased because we're always after them. They may run and stop, but then, then we show up again. So they got to keep running. And just the stress of that can actually wipe out some of your prey. So thumbs up on that. Yay. <laughs> uh, past that, again, the only real thing I have to talk about with life, oh, I can't really show it, but because I am a pack rat and lazy, this is one of my broken speakers. This one doesn't work. I don't know why I still have it up here. The other one I'm actually using because my console hooks up to my, well, my consoles hook up to my one TV here. And it's the only way to get sound out of it is there happens to be a sound connector coming off the, the, the TV slash monitor. And so I'm able to hook stuff up to it that way. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to hear all of my console stuff. That's great, isn't it? So I've got the, the television hook thing into the one single speaker. So at least it's playing left and right channel out of the same speaker. So I'm getting mono sound. But at least I'm able to hear everything and not just like half. It's a, television slash monitors just have terrible, terrible sound systems if they have them at all, so thumbs up for that. But at least it works, and that's good. Yay. <laughs> I've been trying to hook up a way to have my computer also hook up into this HDMI switcher. Yeah, I'm spitting here with my, my dentures, my apologies, where I have my Xbox on my PlayStation hooked up into an HDMI switcher and there's another spot so I'm trying to get it so that when I need to flick a switch and then hey I've got a second monitor for the computer problem is though you'd have to go into settings and every time you do that tell it you got a second monitor and then it's trouble it's hassle so life is life pass that though Dope. Past that though, I'm just surviving, just hanging in there. I'm going to be recording something for the channel later today. 
and then just living. It's the weekend for, as I record this, for, you know, everybody, because it's Sunday. <laughs> but if you're not watching this on the day that it's recorded and uploaded, then of course it's not, unless you watch it on a Sunday. But it'll be a different Sunday. Thumbs up for that. So, yeah, just slow and boring and just going to keep surviving. And I hope that you do as well. Definitely a thumbs up on that. So, just to cut it short, because i got nothing more to say, I have opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab. I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people, if there are that many, for having left me a comment. I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. Good, bad, indifferent. You took the time. You expended the calories. Thank you very much. If, you, if I mispronounce your username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker, and even though I count American Sign Language on the fingers of this hand with my depression, fibromyalgia, and more, I am lucky I can remember anything at all. So we have question mark, <laughs> thumbs up. Menu 10, greatly appreciated. Ice Damon, thumbs up. Rebecca... Colbarubius, who has uh, skipped the beginning of one of my reaction videos, and uh, Sergio Hernan Munez Bedoya, thumbs up. Christopher Thomas, greatly appreciated. Sarge 778 returns, thumbs up. Zimba J, I sure hope I'm close, but I'm not, thumbs up and thank you. Ricky Bettini, with a daily reminder to live every day to its fullest. And Chris G, thumbs up and thank you. We have Spoot. <laughs> thumbs up. Russian timing. Good to see you in the comments, my friend. Boof. Thumbs up. Colin Rise now. Greatly appreciate it. Chicken Mon. Thumbs up. Hunter. Thumbs up and thank you. Prod Empty Chest. Thumbs up. Good to see everybody. Eduardo Reyes Lopez. Hello. Jesse Farah. Thumbs up and thank you. The Wuski. Always good to see you in the comments as well. And uh, Julio Penedo. Thumbs up. And that is it. 21 comments. Thank you so much. You get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people, and it is appreciated to no end. Thank you so very, very much. If you could check out my various links down below, I have Twitter, Facebook, Patreon.com. If you could donate, well, become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people. That would be beautiful and awesome. And if you'd like to help me out without sending money through the patronage, I have a PayPal link down below. If you'd like to help me out without sending money at all, I have an Amazon wish list link. If you could check that out, that would be very cool. Now, do not feel obligated. I do not feel entitled. And if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. And if you could toss me a like, I appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence. A definite thumbs up. And of course, if you could hit the notification bell on the subscription button, that would be very, very cool. A definite thumbs up on that. And of course, the horse head of encouragement has nothing but encouragement, kind words, and love for each and every person on the face of this planet. We are a beautiful and awesome species with almost limitless potential, and the horse head of encouragement wishes all of us to work for our fullest. Definitely a thumbs up on that. And Black Lives Matter. Good golly, Miss Molly. And of course, during these hard times, be it safe and creative as you possibly can. A definite thumbs up on that. So, if you have to go out, please maintain your social distancing, wear a mask, wash your hands, try not to touch your face, and if you don't have to go out, uh, please don't go out. It's not a good idea. Yes, yeah, this is dangerous and oy vey. So, thumbs up, be safe, and, and thumbs up. <laughs> so... You take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, and that is a very good thing. You try to be as creative as you can. I'm going to be try and be as creative as I can today. That wasn't really English, but hopefully you understood at least what I was trying to say. Definitely a good thing, and I shall see you.